everybody welcome back to my channel ash beauty vlogs i hope you're all doing well so today's video is a quick get ready with me it's makeup only so if you are interested in knowing how i apply makeup then continue watching if not then i suggest you wait for my next video um so i'm just gonna get on with it um as you can see i am putting moisturizer on my face and i was actually using the charlotte tilbury magic cream it was my first time i had a tester so i thought i'd give that a try um it did feel really good and there was quite a lot so i used quite a bit and yeah i was showing off my eye bags since the wedding i haven't slept a lot and um, I feel like I still haven't recovered just because of the lack of sleep that we had throughout that whole over one week. Um, so I'm applying some SPF on my face. I'm really trying to get into the habit of using SPF. Uh, this is one that I got from Boots. It's got hyaluronic acid in it and I heard it was quite good so I'm giving that a try. I usually apply it as a primer as well before I put my makeup on. So to start off with, I am putting my LA Girl Corrector on the hyperpigmentation areas. So as you can see, it's my under eyes and around my mouth and my chin areas. And then I like to kind of just smudge it out with either a brush or sometimes I dab with my fingers. I find that's the best tool sometimes. And then here I'm using my NARS foundation. It's the NARS Radiant Glow in the shade Barcelona. Um, it's a very lightweight serum, but it's really good. You know, it goes well with oily or dry skin. Um, I believe the coverage is quite good as well and it's, it's really buildable. So you can always have, you know, a thin layer or if you want to go a bit more extra with, full more, with a bit more full coverage, you can as well. So as you can see, I'm just applying um, on the areas where I have more foundation on and then I do blend it out afterwards. I start off blending with a brush. Um, yeah, once I've done with the application, I will start blending in a bit. Um, yep, yeah, more foundation and I'm only using the pumps that I use in the beginning, guys. It's literally goes a long way. Um, so yeah, there you go. I finally got the brush and I start, oh no, no, I put on the, um, I put on some of the P. Louise, um, what is it? The eyeshadow base. Sorry guys, I did do this uh, video in the morning and I'm doing my voiceover at night and I kind of forgot what steps I did. Um, so yeah, I'm doing the P. Louise, I'm putting on the P. Louise eyeshadow base primer. And this product is so good, literally your eyeshadow does not budge the entire day. And I got these primers, I think they were like £5. I got them off TikTok shop, guys. Because I think if you buy them on the website, it's like £10. Um, so yeah, I finally start um, blending out the foundation. I, st I always start off with a brush first. I find when you use a beauty um, blender um or a sponge to blend out foundation i just feel like it sucks more pro like, like it sucks more products so it takes and it uses up more of the products so i prefer uh blending with a brush first and then once it's all over i get my beauty blender and i like to kind of press the foundation into my skin as you can see i'm dabbing it all around my face and then here I'm using my Tarte, my ever so favourite Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and I'm using the shade Medium Sand. So yeah, I apply that on first on the areas I like to conceal and I'm going a bit extra under my eyes because of the bags as you saw earlier. And then just some areas with some blemishes. And then on top of that I do put a lighter shade which is Light Sand. Um, just so that it looks a little bit highlighted but not as much as the first concealer of course and then I do start blending it out as you can see it blends out so nicely so flawlessly and the coverage is just perfect so yeah tart shape tape guys I would definitely recommend um, it's easy to find your shade as well as they have a very large variety of colors available for all skin types so yeah 
dabbing away on my forehead and just around my mouth making sure it's evenly blended and then what do I do here yes my contour so um, I'm using a cream contour by cover FX. I don't even know if that brand still exists but um, yeah so it's a brown contour and I think this one was the wrong palette um, this contour looks a bit too light for my um, skin color so then I decided to go with a much darker shade but um, with a darker shade you don't need to put as much on because that goes a long way so yeah I'm just putting it on the main areas that I want to be contoured as you can see and then yeah so here I am using my liquid blushes from Revolution Beauty I believe they do the same ones in or oh, if not the same very similar ones from Sheen which I've really wanted to try but just haven't had time to order um, so yeah this is from Revolution Beauty guys doesn't cost a lot at all and I just applied some on top of my contour and now I'm just blending it all out and as you can see it blends out so nicely and um, it's so quick as well like I barely I think I just literally dabbed a few seconds and then it was all blended um, and it goes really well with the contour color as well um, so yeah I think it's a good uh, match for my complexion as you can see there um, skin's looking really good it looks hydrated it looks quite smooth and it looks quite um, flawless I would say exactly what I wanted yep and um, here I'm just grabbing a bit more contour just to um, define a bit more of the cheekbones um, just to bring out a bit more color oops yep nearly dropped my camera there but it was okay I didn't so yeah contour is definitely my favorite process guys in the whole makeup application um, and then here I grab my ever so favorite favorite um, baking powder which is the Huda Beauty powder literally I have tried so many powders guys and nothing beats it it's always on the top of my list um, I always come back to it I feel like no other powder is as fine as this one and the smell is so good and it just just watch what it does look as I apply this is literally just one light layer of the powder and I've just completely blended it out look at that difference guys look at the comparison look at the left and look at the right it just blurs it's literally a filter like as soon as you put the powder on it's just a filter I love it so much I can't literally not use this product it's my go-to product can't recommend it enough and if anyone's wondering what shade I'm using I am using banana bread sometimes i do use pound cake but that depends if i'm using a different foundation but for this foundation i usually use banana bread and then yeah i had some crease lines on my eyelids so i just blended that out and then i put some powder to set so i do use powder sometimes i use just plain base color eyeshadow as well to set the um p louise eye shadow primer and then here I am, I am just buffing out the extra powder that I put around my face and on top of my eyelids. Um, the powder that you can see under my eyes, they, that stays. I let that bake for a little bit. And then I start with my eyeshadow and this is no fancy eyeshadow guys. It's literally my normal eyeshadow that I do if I'm going out anywhere in the day. Actually no, this is a bit more than my normal eyeshadow. This, I mean, my normal basic eyeshadow, like work eyeshadow is just literally one color all over my lids. But no, here I decided to be a little bit more creative. I thought, you know what, let me just make it slightly different than what, my, what I normally do. So as you can see, I've done like a nice uh, beige brown around the lids. It looks very messy, but it will be fixed. I will sort that out in a bit. And then I'm putting a very dusty pinky color. It's all matte on my lids, just so that it kind of fades from a light to a deeper color, just contrasts a little bit nicely. And then on the outer corners, I'm adding a dark, almost black, but not black, but a very dark brown um, eyeshadow, just to, you know, give the corner of my eyelids a bit of definition, as you can see. So it kind of gives like a nice, um, 
ombre effect as you can see yep so just applying that and not all the way it's only on the outer corners and it's going in towards around half of the eyelid and um, yeah as you can see that gives a nice um, shadowy look and then I grab one of my other eyeshadow brushes with barely anything on it and I literally just blend out the harsh edges and lines as you saw with the eyeshadow and I just kind of blend out in circular motions. Um, I have a very big space from my eyelid, from my lash line to my brows, as you can see. A lot of people have much smaller spaces, uh, much smaller space, but my the area is quite large, so I can sometimes, you know, go a bit crazy with eyeshadow. But I try not to, you know. I don't like anything too extreme. I like it with a nice, simple touch. Um, so yeah, this is basically my eyeshadow done, as you can see. And then the other crucial thing that I always do is the eyeshadow on the bottom lower lash line. So I've just grabbed a deeper brown shade from the same Morphe palette and I'm just kind of adding it to the under eye lash line. I feel that makes a huge difference to your makeup. Sometimes I intensify it a bit more, sometimes I go a bit lower and sometimes I keep it really thin and basic. It just depends on the mood and where I'm going. So now I'm just brushing out the excess um, powder that was on my face and as you can see it's left my under eyes looking smooth and flawless. Just what I wanted. And then I also... Um, buff out the rest of my face before I start my contour so I'm using a Kevin O'Quan palette uh, for my contour I think I said his name right and um, yeah this is a uh, it's my go-to contour palette at the moment it's a powder contour the shade is just a perfect shade it's a tan shade can't really remember the color the actual color but yeah it goes on really nicely blends like a dream and um, I feel like it's the perfect colour for my complexion. And yeah, although I don't really contour my nose, I do like to add a bit of contour just to define the nose a little bit. But yeah, I feel like once the contour's on, the makeup really does come together really nicely. So then here I'm just grabbing my Kat Von D gel liner. And um, literally, eyeliner has never been so easy to put on. Uh you know since i've gotten my got this eyeliner i used i do still use the collection 2000 those of you that know would know the ogs would know collection 2000 fast stroke black liquid liner is literally the best eyeliner and i still stand by that but i decided to try something a bit different and i got this one which is the kat von d gel liner it's extremely black, as you can see, and it's so easy. It just glides on. And then I just grabbed a spoolie from my uh, brush pot, and I'm just brushing out my brows before I put my um, brow gel on. So this is the Anastasia Famous Brows. Um, and I believe I'm using the color Ebony. It's a bit too black, I think, but it works out. I've got two shades. I've got soft brown, but then that one's a bit too light and brown. And then I've got ebony, which is a bit too black, but I feel like it does look good. And it's a very common color that goes with most people's brows. So yeah, here I am just um, etching my brows away. And I think I went a bit too high with that brow. But it's all right, it looks nice and curved. And then I'm trying to do the same with the other brow as well. As you can see, I love doing this part. It's, um, I feel like it just kind of puts your whole makeup together once your brows are done. No matter how, makeup, how good the makeup looks on the face, as soon as the brows are done, it just changes the whole look, I think. Um, so yeah, that's the brows. Um, I think I look happy with those, but then I realized one brow looks a little bit thicker. So then I was trying to thicken this one up as well, just to make it match. But then eventually I realized brows are not meant to be twins, they're, Swiss, they're sisters. Your brows are not twins, guys, they're sisters. 
so anyways moving on i grabbed my anastasia blush palette and when i can't decide which blush i want i just dab all three and i just apply it onto the apples of my cheek as you can see i do love blush i think it's one of my favorite products in the whole um makeup whatever um i always uh, apply a bit more extra blush because i find blush is always the first thing to fade so then once i've applied the right amount of blush i go over with my buffing brush and i just kind of um calm down the intensity of the blush and then here i'm just putting mascara on i don't know why i look a bit crazy there but um yeah that's just how i apply mascara <laughs> um instead of making a silly face with my mouth wide open i just blink every time i make i like put a stroke on and i'm using the maybelline i believe it's the star maybelline shining star or something i can't remember what it's called but it's the pink one and the wand is so perfect the applicator it's so flexible and it's so bendy and it grabs every little hair every little lash on your eyes and um, obviously when i'm doing my clients it's so easy um so yeah here i'm just applying a nyx uh off-white color pencil liner for my waterline just to make my eyes pop a little bit more as you can see and then i'm applying highlighter i don't usually put highlighter i feel like a highlighter is so 2016 but for some reason i felt like i wanted some highlight today so um yeah i added some highlighter and then i kind of just blended it out so um yeah and then here i'm using my charlotte tilbury fixing spray this is literally by far the best fixing spray i have ever used my makeup does not budge guys i did my makeup for my sister's wedding and all i needed was this spray but i sprayed it like three times throughout the process of my makeup and i can tell you one thing my makeup lasted anyways moving on to my lips i'm using the rimmel um lip liner in the shade brownie pie i have a few brown lip liners that i literally use but i find myself reaching out for this one the most because it goes really well with the rest of my lipsticks and whichever lipstick i decide to wear it just blends really well with it so yeah i'm just outlining my lips here as you can see not overlining it too much but you know doing the best i can i guess and i think i did go a bit higher with one side than the other so then eventually i do try and correct it i do go a bit deep on the uh, lip line i do go a bit darker on it i do press a bit harder because i like to give my lips an ombre effect so um, i make sure the outline of the lip is quite thick and it's quite dark and then i'm using my nyx soft liquid matte lipstick in the shade london this is my go-to nude shade color guys i have a few nudes that i you know wear but i get asked a lot on my youtube channel what is my lip combo and this is literally my lip combo guys my rimmel lip liner and this liquid lipstick by nyx so i do apply it all over um even on top of the uh lip liner and then i make sure the right amount is there and it dries really nicely as well gives you a nice soft demi matte type of finish it doesn't dry out your lips so yeah it's a really good product i'll definitely recommend and then i do go over the lip liner again with the liner just so that it's um defined a bit more because like i said i do like the ombre effect um i do like to make sure my lip is looking good um and then here is the full look guys tell me what you guys think i hope you guys enjoyed my vlog don't forget to leave me a comment don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already I hope you guys stay well and I will be back with a brand new vlog. Let me know what you guys think of the look guys and I hope you all stay well. Take care.